as a fan of your podcast, the Monday Morning Podcast, everybody who is not listening mm-hmm. to the Monday Morning Podcast, please do, because it is my favorite. How do you prepare for that podcast? Because you sit down, you talk, and I swear to God, it's like you're doing material, <laughs> but yeah, I know you're just talking, but like, how, I, I always wonder, how do you prepare? Do you prepare at all for your podcast? I, uh, Andrew sends me the advertising. Yeah. I copy and your paste producer. it. Yep. I copy and paste it. And then he sends me the questions for the week. I copy and paste that and I stick it under the ads. Mm-hmm. I never broken down my whole game thing, my game film. And then what I do is I'll just write Pat's game, you know. Topics. Big feet, blah, 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 whatever. <laughs> and then I just start talking. <laughs> And uh, if it's not going well, I go to the list. Mm. If it goes great, I barely look at the list. Mm. And all of a sudden, I look down and I've done like a half hour and I haven't even done the reads yet. And I know that the questions good one. are going to take like uh, 20 minutes or so. And um, yeah, that's basically how I do it. Now, but through when you're going throughout the week in between podcasts, do you take notes of shit you want to talk about? Or do you sit down and you're like, oh, I remember that. I want to talk about that. No. like, How I, do you but, decide on topics? No. As I just sit down and I just... What? And I'm just like, ah, oh, fuck. What happened to me in the last couple of days? I know something happened <laughs> like to me. Like, you told an anecdote about, like, uh, you were making a sandwich and the lady was... She asked for a special thing and the lady was just like, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> but which was so funny, but I don't I think I would it. remember I that. that guy. Because you know what I hated about the guy? Was he was he was on, like, his tiptoes watching. Yeah. He ordered a bagel. And I feel Two like I can visualize yeah, it, Yeah, and too. he wanted butter on him. And, and you know, it's, it's a fucking airport. <laughs> yeah. And, and they got, like, the little, the little you know, little conveyor belt thing, and they sent it through. And he, he was just sitting there like like a f- meerkat, right? And, and he was just annoying me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because I've had that job. Mm. It's just like we just mm. met him, make the thing, and be done with it. And he just say, "Oh, oh could, could you could you just put <laughs> could you just put the butter on it? I would just, you put the butter on it." And she, and she was just like she was like a a, a grizzled vet. She was just like, "What? <laughs> she was like, can you just? I just wanted can you can you put the, the the butter on it now? You know, before I go up to register." She goes, oh, the, "The butter's over there." And he goes, "No, no. I was just hoping. Can, can you spread it now? So like, because it's still warm, I want it to be melted. Can, can you do that?" And she just goes. No. I love that. It's so good. <laughs> it's fucking... But it's so and good. And I, I laugh, and I looked at her, and she just looked at me, gave me like half a smile. She had a cigarette hanging out of her mouth. Like, what do you want? I was like, ham and cheese. But I guess that, that <laughs> memory that. was... You 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 have a good memory, I think, because I don't think I would have held on to even even something that precious. But you've always got... I mean, you do it twice a week, too, so it's a lot of time to fill. But you, you somehow capture these memories and retell it in a way... I'll th- you know, my, you gotta, you my favorite talent. clip, my favorite clip thought? on yeah. my podcast is because I'm making my wife laugh, which is my favorite thing uh-huh, in the world. Uh-huh. She has the greatest That's laugh. That's cute as hell, by the <laughs> way. And thank you. I can be adorable. That is cute as hell. You know, as much as you <laughs> like my podcast, I can be adorable every once in a while. Um, I told her this story of, uh, I first told the story of watching this old guy wipe out on a scooter, sliding on his face. And then <laughs> it reminded me of this time I saw this guy, um... This guy in Griffith Park mm. was in street clothes and went down the steepest hill and wiped out. And I was telling the story. It was like a Sherry's Berry thing that it started <laughs> making me laugh. And then my wife started laughing. Mm-hmm. And, uh, <coughs> you know, that story, that, l- listening, her, her laughing, that's why we got married. That, that whole story, right? The <laughs> chemistry and that whole thing. Like, I, yeah. I listen, you know, I, listen, I go back and I listen to that like once a year. <laughs> and uh, no, I feel lucky that I That's... met somebody that has like she's as funny as most comedians I know, mm. Mm. and she has an incredible sense of humor. And um, it's kind of uh, it was yeah, it was just something that I, you know, someone like me being a, a lunatic, I needed <laughs> someone like that that could laugh that hard at somebody falling off the <laughs> skateboard. <Yeah. laughs>